Therefore, the bottom line is, let's not treat this morally, but medically, with some dignity, compassion, and confidentiality. And that's how it should be approached. So there is a reference for you from Dr. Dave Lewis. He's an eminent <coughs> a, 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 a physician at Brown University. If you really want to get into this disease a little bit better, and it's not all scientific, the layperson could read that, and it's a great reference. So here's my final message. Alcohol, chemical dependency is alcoholism and any other drug dependency. Chemical dependency is a disease state. No one is immune. Denial is the chief symptom and the major obstacle to treatment. That's why intervention of some kind is necessary. We have very few volunteers uh, come in the door. The treatment is biologic, psychologic, and spiritual. The mutual help groups is where that spiritual restoration occurs, where the value system conflict gets resolved. Um, you'll hear more about treatment later. AA works best for most. Monitoring is critical. And treatment works only with an unaltered uh, prescription. And it says in the Big Book of Alcoholics Anonymous, rarely have we seen a person fail who has thoroughly followed our path. Key word there being thoroughly. So if you don't alter the prescription, uh, then treatment will work. Uh, and when I hear the word message, I'm reminded of the grade school kid who came home one day and he told his two younger brothers that he'd heard three new cuss words in school. And his brother said, what were they? He said, damn hell and ass. And one of the kids said, let's try these out on mom tomorrow at breakfast. He says, you think we should? Yeah, let's do it. So next morning at breakfast, Mom goes to the first kid and says, son, what would you like for breakfast? He says, give me some damn pancakes. <laughs> she backhanded him across the street. Went to the second kid and said, what would you like? And he said, what the hell, Mom? Give me some pancakes. <laughs> he went flying across the table. Went to the third one, obviously a budding alcoholic, and said, what would you like for breakfast? And he hesitated for a minute. And he said, tell you what, Mom, you can bet your ass ain't going to be pancakes. <laughs> He did not get the message, okay? I hope you did. Thank you very much.